Hi, first grade. Here we are on week four, and we're still going to be learning about light. So we're going to start this lesson by watching a quick video. I'm Eloise. I'm Basil. I'm Talay. I'm Otis. Me and Eloise are going to play in this tent, and Otis and Basil are going to play in that tent. We want to communicate with Basil and Otis from our tent to their tent. My grandpa is asleep inside, so we can't yell, so we are going to use a light code to talk to each other, just like a stoplight uses colors to tell cars when to stop and go. Let's come up with our light code. Yeah. Yes can be one short flash. How about no is one long flash? How about do you want to play is three short flashes? Good idea. Let's make up a code for the games we want to play. The square should be playing in sandbox since the sandbox is shaped like a square, right? Yeah, yeah that's, that's a good idea. idea. Riding bikes is a circle because bike wheels are a circle. Staying in the tent should be a triangle since the tent is like shaped like a triangle. Hold it down, I'm going to go in our tent. Let's go see if the boys want to play. Whoa, the girls signaled us. They're asking us, do you want to play? Yes, they want to play. Good, let's play at the sandbox. I want to go and play in the sandbox, okay? Okay. Bye. Yo! You know what? I want to play. Oh, look. Otis is signaling circle. He wants to ride bikes with us. Let's go! I think communicating with light signals is a good way to talk with someone when you can't use your voice. And it's fun too because you can talk and no one else understands. All right, so for this week or this lesson, I want you to get your science notebooks out and a pencil and I want you to come up with your own code. So if you have a flashlight in your home, you can use that. Um, what I used is my phone has a flashlight on it, so maybe someone in your house has a phone that has the flashlight on it. Or you can use a lamp, or you can even use a light that has the light switch on the wall and come up with your own code to be able to talk to someone without using words. So. Draw your code so that you can understand what light signals you're going to use for what words or what um, toys or what games, um, just like the kids in the video did. Give that code to someone in your family so that they will be able to understand your code when you do it. And then send a message to someone in your family to see if they can understand what you are saying using your code. So I hope you have fun with this activity, and I will be sending you another video soon. I'll talk to you all later. Bye.